Do you ever wonder how we can grow hair in Houdini? That's a catch. In today's video, we're gonna took this piggy and we're gonna add hair and simulation to it, but that was different surprisingly. And then we're gonna render that in Unreal Engine 5. Hi again, this is Dyson, glad to be here. Okay let's begin let's create our piggy geometry test here okay let's use our gut because i am new to this hair system in houdini for instance let's go to sub level like many tools like vellum and maybe in the hair menu here let's create this fur okay we have something and yeah let me change some setting yeah of course we have these supplines represent as a fur and the group is not selected so maybe let me have a group here i don't i want a fur hair okay as you can see we don't have anything so let me try primitive group here okay as you can see the point group vertex group it's not gonna happen so turns out houdini recommended hair in object level to create that so this hair node is not recommended here so let's go to object level this is object level we have this one and we have this hair uh, tools here and let's begin with creating hair guide here guide groom sorry and let's connect this one to the geometry as you can see we have these guides represent as a line or a curve okay as you can see we have some option here the length maybe or the density and yeah let's move on and let me show you don't have any fancy stuff here but in this node we have this guide and vdb and the skin this is uh, important to the hair system in Houdini. Okay, we have uh, this hair. Maybe we're gonna do uh, attribute noise, for example, to have a noise in the P for the position of this curve. As you can see, we are tweaking the guide of the hair. That's so important to understand. So that's the basic setup. Now let's go to object level and create hair generate node here and let me connect this one to the guide now this node will take the guide and will generate the hair or strand okay as you can see we have a density here it is uh, different from the guide groom node density so uh, that's the basic of the hair setup and turns out we can uh, do that with these shelf tools as you can see we're gonna select that and hit enter and as you can see houdini will create this setup but with one small different uh difference sorry that will uh, be this deform uh, geometry that's because if you have an uh, animated geometry or deforming geometry maybe some character talking or uh, having a deforming face that will uh, stick this hair to the uh, this character for example i have this noise deformation here and let me create animation for that let me show you here and yep and let's play so we have this uh, decent animation and let's play as you can see this note helping us to apply this hair to the animated skin or deforming skin let me show you in this documentation as you can see move the hair or the curve with animated skin okay that's the basic setup okay so far so good and do not forget to hit the like button to spread the love let me delete this deform guide and let me remove this animation or deforming geometry so we have this piggy and we have these guides and the yellow one we have this uh, density and 
we have this hair as you can see this is the actual hair the final product and this is the guide the hair is uh, generated by this guide okay we have this density okay now i want to have hair in a specific area so we have this density we don't have any option to have a, a hair in a specific area okay let's find out we have this override option here okay that's interesting from texture or skin attribute let me see that let me go here and for instance let's create this attribute maybe okay let's create attribute i want to find out how this thing works and let me pin that attribute stop it get some help but honestly i found this awesome future here let me delete that and let me show you here. of course you can load density from texture but this awesome future is this one you see that let's create that and as you can see this button automatically will create our uh, density this density attribute and then we'll create paint attribute here okay let me show you the guides here and let's zero these guides out with zero and let me uh, pen this geometry to have no guides here okay to reset the guides uh, density okay we are painting zero density in this uh, area so that's without guide let me turn this grid and okay now we have this one let's go here to demonstrate this one we need for instance this amount of density that will goes here okay let me paint in this area for example and as you can see we have these guides here okay maybe let's reduce this amount for this section okay you see that okay that's the basic idea you see you can choose the uh, density amount in this brush okay let me paint this little quick here I'm not going to waste your time as usual so maybe here yeah we have these decent guides we are painting the guides not the actual head that's so important so uh, you can uh, hold shift to smooth uh, these edges that's the handy one okay let's go here and let's see as you can see we have this uh, hair this hair sorry okay and that's the basics basic here okay the next option is the length you see that we have this uh, option length and of course this option have an override as you can see we have this amount of length and we're gonna paint that here okay first let me reset this value okay and let's go here and let's paint for instance uh, our length okay you see that this brush will uh, define this length uh, attribute for this uh, guides here you can paint it like this and that's so awesome and honestly give you a lot of uh, control here yeah you see that in matter of fact i know it's odd but this hairstyle remind me of the 80s i don't know why and yeah as you can see we have uh, this one here and let's have a mustache <laughs> nice i love it okay and this is the length we are painting here and of course you can hold uh, the shift button to smooth this area as you can see it's subtle but uh, it's have an awesome impact to this result here and yeah that's the length we are talking about and let's move on now what if i want to have a natural look to this hair honestly this is a perfect generated hair i didn't see any hair like this except for this one so 
let's go to this guide here and let's go let's see okay let's go here in this uh, sub level guide groom here we can do maybe let's go to here we can do the freeze uh, effect here let me show you and let me increase this number as you can see this is a better look as, and let me increase that as you can see we are changing the look of the hair or maybe you see that or maybe you can uh, we can do the clamp effect here awesome you see that <laughs> that's so funny so and, and honestly that's so cool you see that and i in love with uh, houdini's hair and yeah this is a clamp uh, uh, effect here or clamp node and maybe you can decrease uh, the amount or density of this uh, clamping here see that or the size here and let me change that this is awesome look honestly i love it so and that's the clamp for example and the handy nodes here we want it to have a groom guide node here let me create this groom guide and you see that this is a, a bunch of tools to uh, shape our hair with these manipulate tools and we have this draw here we can draw our hair on this geometry so let me delete that of course we have this mirroring option here for the symmetry we have uh, this one here and maybe this oh what's happened oh great my hood isn't gonna die please give me a moment here let me do this let me undo that please 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 and let me disable that okay let's move on please let's move on uh, let's have a sculpt uh, option here and you see that with this mod we can uh, have a def uh, we can deform this hair in a specific direction we can brush this hair in simple uh, easiest way to explain and you see that and that's the sculpt brush or sculpt mode and of course we have a bunch of these tools here for instance the cut uh, mode here you can uh, cut or trim your hair with this brush this is honestly so handy and this is nice as you can see lovely and let me be here and you see that that's so awesome with a bunch of click we have this awesome uh, hair system in Houdini and I'm really impressed let's go for the length adjusting the length maybe let me show you here you see that let me no no I guess this adjustment length not the lifting okay you see that we are adjusting the length of these uh, hairs here and that's so awesome okay now what if i want to have a hair simulation physically based hair simulation here in the object level it turns out we have this guide simulation as you can see this guide simulation we're gonna connect this one after the guide here and let's play and see what we get okay we have something but man it's so slow i have decent pc honestly and uh, i must say I tried this physical uh, option with her in Unreal Engine and that was so fast and fabulous and so impressive. I will show you in the next video. Stay tuned for that. So in this uh, guide simulation, we have uh, this uh, wire uh, simulation solver and vellum solver. Um, turns out the vellum solver is better and we have this option here and you see that in this simulation we don't have any option to have a custom force for example let's create this external uh, simulation okay as you can see this one create uh, for us this DOP network automatically and we have this one and we have a uh, vellum and we have this force tool set and let's go here and for instance let's have a puff force 
and let's crease this one you see that our force is applied and i guess that's it guys this is the basic of the hair in houdini in the next video we're gonna render that in unreal engine see ya